Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to create custom list in Excel for Mac. So, take for instance you have a you, you have operations in some four countries in your in your company. So you have operations in Nigeria. Maybe Nigeria is your biggest market. So maybe you're like a telecom company or some FMCG company. And then you have operations in Ghana. Maybe Ghana is your next big market. And then you also have operations in say Côte d'Ivoire and you also have in Liberia and you like to have these arranged this way now the issue is if you do sorting or if you have information uh, that you have these uh, against figures and you you sort it's not going to arrange this way so sometimes when you have a need to have things consistently arranged uh, custom list is going to help you. So custom list is going to help you. And also, if you want a situation where you can type Nigeria, and you drag it down, and it gives you the other countries you have operations in, then custom list is your is the tool to help you to do that. So how do we set up custom list? You go to Excel, you go to preferences, and instantly you will see custom list. So you go to custom list, and then this is how it works. Uh, normally you will see that there are some already preset custom list. That's why you can type Monday and drag down and you get your other days of the week. And similarly for months of the year. And so if you, uh, if you want to type the things yourself, if you want to type the things yourself, you know, you can come here, say Nigeria. Just make sure it's one per line. Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Liberia. So this can be good if the list is not, you know, it's not a very large one and you can easily type. And so you say hard and instantly it has it, you know, in the custom list. And that's it. So you do close. And from this moment onwards, in fact, forever for this your installation of Excel on this particular computer, you will not need to do that again. When you shut down, you, you restart your PC and you go to Excel, you always see that you can type Nigeria. And if you drag down, it gives you the other countries, it gives you the other places you have operations. And this works for even other things. I use it for for demonstration i'm going to demonstrate also for states for sales rep for sales region for things that are like that that you have a pattern you like to have things arranged and the other interesting thing about it is the fact that so let's say uh, we have some figures in here okay and um, let's just see for some reason these things are not well arranged so for whatsoever reason this is or uh, arranged in so let's sort i go here i sort a to z so see now when you have things this way and you want them sorted in that particular arrangement that you have in your custom list so what you do is you go here you go to sort but custom sort and what we are going to do is that we don't want to sort it to z we have a custom list right and then i pick that particular custom list and i say it should sort by that custom list and voila it is done so how about a list really large that i want to be able to create a custom list around i don't want to type Again, I go to preferences, I go to custom list, I say hard, but not typing the way we did before. I save import from import list from cells. I come here and I select the cells that I already have those things typed in. So and I say import, and that will automatically add it here on the left and also add it here on the right. So that is all. And I close and voila, we can test. I can type any states. So let's even type from the middle. You don't have to even start from the beginning. And if you drag down, 
voila you get the other states and you can drag up so in case you know you want to get these states before that and that's how custom list works it's very interesting and this is how you set it up in excel for mac thank you